Welcome back to L to my channel. This is LMB Simmer, and we are kicking it off with episode three of the Price Dynasty. So we are in Oasis Springs, and who but who shall live here? Well, let's find out. So shall we? Dun 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 dun. See any familiar faces? It is Deanna who lives here. This is Deanna's current home for the time being. So as you will notice, Deanna is here with a bunch of strangers, as you will. And the reason why is this is not a regular residence. This is a rehab center. In fact, this place is called Oasis Springs, I think it's like Oasis Springs uh, Rehab Center or something of the sort, but uh, Deanna has went to rehab when she learned that Nicholas had married Cheyenne. She started to fall deeply, deeply into depression and she started participating in behaviors that were very... Um, dangerous. She started drinking more. She started being a little more promiscuous. Um, currently, I think she still has some of those relations. She hasn't officially broke up with some of the people that she has been with. But um, anyway, when she hit, she hit rock bottom shortly after Marcus took Mariana away. He took her away because uh, her behavior was just was not healthy for the little girl. It was not a healthy environment. So um, that happened, and then after that, they, um, let's see here, you can get people to talk to each other. Um, it's supposed to be like a group therapy session, but I can see one of the patients doesn't really want to comply. And, um, so, yeah, so she hit rock bottom, Marcus took Mariana away, and then she ended up sleeping with her manny and got pregnant and she has another daughter, her fifth daughter, Tiana, and um, that's with her Manny, and I forget the Manny's name. Um, and of course I need to be on Deanna, so the Manny's name is, if I can find him, Shingo. Shingo? Shingo? Sh Shingo? I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, but Shingo Sasaki. So that is the Manny that she slept with and she had a little girl with him. And uh, then he moved in to kind of help her pay the bills because since she lost Mariana, she lost the uh, financial support that Marcus was giving her and she lost her job. And then her um, longtime friend and the girls' the triplets Manny was Octavio Ralston and um, they've been kind of friends with benefits and hanging out and spending time together looks like group therapy session is over and uh, they've been spending some time together and hanging out and um, but he has always had a deep love for her and uh, in fact um, he felt kind of guilty at first when he started falling for her and he was the girls as Manny and she was having her problems and she was being confused and she was experiencing postpartum depression and uh, things were really rocky with her and Nicholas but uh, he did he has loved her since and he just told her you know enough is enough I need you to go to rehab if you want us to continue being any sort of friends at all I want I want you to go to rehab and get some help and so she checked into this rehab with his help and she's been here for the last two years um, almost and um, going through some stuff and trying to figure out how she can become a better person and a better mother and um, just get over all her demons, her uh, sorrow of losing Nicholas. Uh, she realized too late that he was her one true love, but it was it was too late. He had already met Cheyenne and moved on. So um, she was left by herself. So that is um, what is happening here. And um, that is what we're doing. So we're just checking in with her. She is going to have a therapy session pretty soon with her therapist. And they're going to um, talk about some stuff. She is hoping to be able to leave rehab 
by the end of the summer. So we will see how that goes in her session. And right now she's just gonna do some painting therapy. And she has acquired the painting skill from that. Oh, that's pretty a nice paint actually. So let's do that. And then we're just gonna put it in her inventory for now. And then there is, um, so a quick tour of the building. This was somebody else's build and um, I will link it down below. And then I took and kind of gutted it out and made it into the rehab center. So I did not build the shell. Um, and most of the rooms were already in place. I might have made some minor changes here and there, but we'll do a quick tour because I'm not going to do a separate renovation video or anything on this one. So this middle room here, I have it set up for, ooh, try not make everybody dizzy, as the art therapy kind of room. This is where you walk into the rehab. Ooh. Um, okay, we'll start here. So this is the front of the rehab center and then this is the entryway, it's kind of just basic, and then the, well maybe we'll do this a little bit without, okay. And then this is the front, so this is the desk. This is the receptionist desk and kind of like the lounge area um, where people would come and wait to meet with the patients that they're there to visit their friends, family, and whatnot. And then over here is the first doctor's office. And um, that is Dr. Bailey Eldridge, and she's in her office right now. And she is wearing her cold weather outfit. Uh, I didn't change all of their outfits, but I tried to update some of them real quick here. Um, but this is her office. And then over here is the living room. This is the living room, so it's got a nice fireplace, although it's always a spring, you probably really don't need a fireplace, but it has one anyway. And then it has kind of like this little kitchen area. Um, no bar, because people are here for rehab, so <laughs> no bar. Um, but it has the summer drink tray and a popcorn thing, and then like dishes, because you know, if you were having popcorn, you'd need bowls or snacks or whatever. And then we come through here, and we have kind of the utility room. It's the laundry area, and there's some storage that we can't really see um, here. But uh, there's some storage, you kind of see some of the stuff right up there. And then here is two little bathrooms for people to use. And then here is the dining area. And then here is the kitchen for um, people, the kitchen. And there's like a little, uh, area here with some bar stools to sit if you want to actually sit in the kitchen as opposed to here. Oh no, it looks like Bailey's dog Nougat is um, kind of sick. He's the therapy dog. Yes, he's a Rottweiler, but he is just a bundle of joy and love. And so he's the therapy dog here. And I don't know what they are decorated for because this house um, does not... I don't... I didn't put in the holiday decoration box, but I'll have to put that in and I'll fix it next time. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But here is a pool and then here is a rock climbing wall and some games and an outdoor eating place for them. And then over here is kind of like the group therapy session room right here. And then right here is the other doctor's office and I believe that doctor is not the one in the chair. Yeah, that's not the doctor. So the doctor is Colt Santiago, but um, it looks like one of his patients is currently using his computer. And then I don't know if you can lock doors, but I should check that out. And then there's just kind of some small details like, you know, bulletin boards that you would see where things would be posted, boxes for um, the doctors to put files in, maybe have their patients do that. And then up here is the living quarters. So up here is the living quarters. And this one is the doctor's room they share. So um, male and female are the only ones that actually have um, co-ed. This is the men's room. And it overlooks the beautiful scenery over here. This is the bathroom that's shared. So there's walls to separate between here. 
um, but it is open so only one person can take a shower at a time and I think the toilets are also open yeah so actually only one person can use it but you know it's set up for the aesthetic and then this is Deanna's room that she shares with the other female patient uh, Catalana Boyer and that's their room there it's just basic and then here's just the upstairs so there's like a card table game there's some stuff outside a place to plant some stuff there is an exercise room a uh, chess table and another seating area without a um, there is no TV up here so you can go up here if you want some more quiet time and want to read a book so that is kind of the quick tour of the rehab center that Deanna is living in and then let's have Deanna go sit in here and have her oops wrong person and have her therapy session with her doctor with Dr. Eldridge we'll have her talk with her and get the conversation going here so they'll talk about the hot weather She'll talk about that actually she should probably be asking Deanna about her day and then they're going to um, discuss some interests I think and then we'll turn around and we need to get this other guy out of her therapy session because that wouldn't normally happen he looks all no oh, she's all wet like she's dripping wet from somewhere I don't know where that is but um we'll do that we'll have to take her dog to the vet too soon but looks like some people are getting hungry so um she's gonna have her therapy session they're talking about her possibly being able to get out in the neck over the course of the next few weeks um before the end of the summer like i said she wants to go back home and we're going to move the patient out of there and um, let's have him maybe go swimming we'll have him swim and then let's maybe have the other doctor make some food for everybody we'll have him um, serve some dinner so there's not much that he can make so we'll have him make that it's kind of set up to where um, I had kind of in mind that maybe they could choose to uh, cook foods together maybe that's part of their chores cooking and cleaning together so everybody kind of takes their turns cooking and cleaning around here um, and they kind of have like the community living kind of style here and some of them their outfits didn't change from where I set them so um, I'm seeing that on all of them so that I don't know if I need to do something there but we'll do that and then let's see here um, Whoop, don't want to spy on her using the bathroom so it looks like maybe she's um, making an appointment to talk with her doctor over stuff it sounds like looks like everybody's in a pretty good mood except for the doctor again um, we will take care of that okay so now Deanna is out of the bathroom I don't want her to cook dinner since the other guy is cooking dinner but perhaps where was that perhaps she'll make some iced tea for everybody um, looks like it is a pretty hot sunny day in Oasis Springs so we'll have her do that and then I also think we will probably have Octavio come over for a visit um, since it's still quite early in the evening but we'll go ahead and um, to get a drink there he is still working on the salad so we'll have him finish that and then wonder if well I'm afraid if I lock the rooms though the only thing is that will keep the patients from being able to go into the doctor's rooms when they need to have their therapy sessions so I probably won't be able to do that but we'll just go ahead and eat there and he's finally made the garden salad so I am going to have everyone grab a serving together I think everyone's pretty hungry 
hopefully Nougat will be okay. I will take care of him um, later behind the scenes. Hopefully he won't pass away. I don't know what's going on with him, but he's been pretty red this whole time and he looks pretty sick. Um, so we'll have to go take him to the vet. But in the meantime, let's have, let's see, he needs to eat. Everybody should be eating. So have everybody eat something and grab a serving okay pretty much everybody okay and that guy doesn't seem to be super hungry so we'll leave him be with that and then after Deanna gets some food here we'll go ahead and have her call up Octavio for a little social visit so let's see let's call Octavio and we'll just check in and then I just um so quite honestly I don't know much about the rest of these sims because they're pretty much just some random townies I moved in to make the um sorry, to make the rehab center full and lived in. So I, the only other one that I have played the house with before is Catalana Liner. She's another, she was a townie and then she became some people's friends. I'm not sure if she's, she might even know. She's not Deanna's friend. Um, so, oh, she's, um, She's linked to Nevea, and Nevea was uh, at Cheyenne and Nicholas's wedding and is um, one of Cheyenne's friends, I believe, unless it was Bethany. I can't quite remember now. And she has some children. So she has um, Aiden is her son, and uh, Gage is her son. Well, no, Aiden is not her son. So Gage is her son, and I don't know if that's the only one because I thought she had... A couple children but I only see that one but we could always go this way and it will show yeah so Gage and Corey are her sons so she has two sons and their dad is um, Lloyd and then Lloyd and her um, were married and then they got a divorce and he remarried Nevea, and they have two kids together too. They started off um, as roommates, but uh, yeah, Lloyd wasn't very faithful to the women. So Nevea has him now, and um, that's kind of why Canalotta is in the rehab. She um, also uh, started drinking when she was pregnant, just the depression of um, her uh, her husband cheating on her and some other stuff with her best friend and roommate and so um, it led to her she started by taking actually taking some cold medication when she didn't need to and then that led to more drinking and that's why she is here as well so looks like Tiana is almost done eating nobody is sitting at the dinner table Oh my goodness, okay. So after she's done eating, hopefully we'll have time for Octavia to come over here. Okay, there she goes. She's gonna call him up and we'll hopefully he will come over and see her. And it looks like he said he would. There's people walking by. Oh, there he is. Wow, he must have been really close by because he showed up in no time. So let's go and greet him. So I will have him, actually let's have one of the doctors greet him. Um, looks like her doctor is actually close enough to do it. So we'll have her do it. She'll do a, she's actually technically met him before, but it's kind of saying like he didn't, but that's okay. But she will meet him officially and then Deanna will go and have a conversation with him. We'll find a place for the two of them to go. So let's see here. Can we add him to the group? And then let's see, it looks like she is turned on the music, but I am going to have 
her. Let's see, is everybody else still queued in her group? Um, so let's let's do um, let's remove from group all these other people. Well, actually, let's leave her in the group. So we'll remove those people from the group. And then we'll actually start by having a little session in here. So we'll all go in here and sit together and have a little chit chat about how her therapy is going. Okay, where are you, Octavio? No, you need to, you need to come over here and do, 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 do. And you come over here so she can ask about your day and then you need to sit and chat here and she needs to sit here. Let's see if we can do this again. Have them queued up here. So they're going to have a little therapy session, a little couple therapy session, and um, talk about all the stuff that is going on. So we will have a deep conversation. Then we'll have her try to calm him down and ask about his day and get to know we'll do that and so they'll have a little therapy session and they're talking about how things are going and um, how her therapy is going and how she is making improvements but she still has a lot of way to go she needs to um, still uh, give up some relationships and that's kind of what Octavio is um, kind of saying he's upset because Deanna still hasn't went through the steps and she still hasn't officially broken up with all of her boyfriends and girlfriends and he really wants her to do that. Um, you can also tell he's thinking about moving. Um, the move, he wants to move closer to be closer to Deanna um, and also Deanna may need to stay close so that she can continue her therapy after she leaves the rehab. So it sounds, looks like they're having some problems here. So um, yeah, and oops, that's not theirs. Okay, but they're still okay. Um, they are engaged because Octavio did propose to her before she went. That was one of the things that uh, he said that he would um, if she wanted to marry him, she would have to go to rehab and get some help. So that is why she's here. But she's not too happy to be here. Um, but anyway, uh, let's have them snuggle a little bit um, and stuff. And uh, maybe they'll make out. I wish these guys would get out of office here go somewhere else go do something go um, paint something and take your other guy and go paint something all right so they can have some privacy kind of <laughs> and we will give them some privacy from the other people and all right and it is getting pretty late so she's gonna have to say goodbye to Octavio here soon so we are going to give him a hug so we are going to give him an embrace and then we are going to maybe give him another kiss and then let's give him a hug and 
And then it wasn't a very long visit, but he has got to get back. It's really late. So she is going to go ahead and say goodbye. Where's the goodbye? There we go. All right, and they will say goodnight to each other. And with that, we will also say goodbye. So that is, concludes the episode three of The Price Dynasty. Uh, we are picking up with Deanna's story here. And uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with everybody. So that is um, the new style that I changed this to is where we are going to include a little bit more of some of the other characters. So if you... Um, so go ahead and leave me a comment. Do you like having this other side, seeing the other side of things, seeing what's going on with the girls' mom and the other people um, related to the family? And uh, again, thank you so much for watching and taking your time to watch this. If you liked me and liked the episode, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below and give me the like. If you want to stick around and find out what happens, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much. I appreciate you and have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever, whatever it is, wherever you are. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.